In this video, we're going to review how to combine like terms and how to distribute. Um, hopefully these are familiar, um, at least hopefully they come back quickly. So the word coefficient just means the number in front of the variable. Um, so in this case, the coefficient of y squared is 3. Um, when there is no number, there's always a 1 in front of it. It's like saying I have an apple. That means you have 1, you don't have to say you have 1. Since we see an x there, we know there's 1, we don't have to write the 1. Um, if it helps you, fill in a 1 there so you don't forget. Um, like terms are terms that have the same variable and the same exponent. Um, so these are like terms, but x squared is a different term because it's an x squared. Um, where a, a term is something that's being added or subtracted. So, like here, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, and this is a term. Um, so, since we're adding and subtracting, we're just counting how many we have. Um, so, that's why these two are separate terms, because one is an x squared and was an x, and we can't group them in the same group when we're counting. So, key idea. We're going to make sure we identify which ones are like terms. We're going to add or subtract the coefficients. Again, we're counting how many we have. So it's like if I was counting my markers. Let's say I have a marker and I have two more markers on my table. Altogether, I have three markers, not three markers squared. Um, we just have three markers. Um, so here's a, an example of a problem that we would see in part A um, here. We have four m squareds, and here we're taking away one m squared. Um, so if I have four and I take one of them away, I'm left with three of them, three m squareds. Then if I look at my m's, I have two m's here. Again, we can think of that as markers, two markers plus five more markers. Altogether, we have seven markers. And these are different. Addition means to count them. So this says count them. But I can't because those are m squareds and those are m's. So this is my final answer. Um, I cannot simplify any further. Um, if we look at part B, one thing to be careful of when we're simplifying is that remember when we're subtracting a negative, it's like a double negative. Um, so that turns into addition. So this is just plus 4y. Everything else stays the same. Um, so now, again, we're going to combine our like terms. So we got to figure out what kind of goes together, and typically we put them in alphabetical order. So if in this case here, I have six y's, and I'm adding four more y's. So altogether, I have ten y's. Then I'm going to look at my z's. All I have are two z's, and I have nothing else to add to those. And then finally, I have numbers. And so my numbers here, I have four, and I'm taking away eight. So four minus eight is negative four. And again, these are different terms. They're all separate, so I cannot add or subtract anything else. When we look at the distributive property, um, basically, what, when two things are touching, it means they're being multiplied. Um, because we're going to end up with something times more than one thing, that's when we have to use the distributive property. So here, this means three times everything in that parenthesis. And since there's two terms in the parenthesis, we need to take three times each one. And so that's when we use the distributive property. Um, so here again, this says take five times everything in that parenthesis, and there's two terms. So I have to multiply five times x and five times two. Um, you can write it out if you want, like five times x and five times two. Uh, we typically don't, especially once we get better at this, so that's up to you. But five times x is five x. And 5 times 2 is 10, and since it's a positive 10, we write plus. Um, if we could go further, we would. But remember, addition means counting, and here we have x's, and these are numbers, so I cannot combine them together. So that's as far as I can go. In example B, same deal, I have negative 2 times negative 2y. Um, when you have negatives, it may be more important to write out what you're doing, um, because two negatives make a positive 4y. And then here I have negative 2 times negative 4, which is positive 8. Again, these are not like terms. This guy has a y, and this guy doesn't. So that's as far as we can simplify. And then finally, um, when we are looking at solving an equation using combining like terms and distributive property. Um, here we got a lot of drama going on. So when we solve an equation, 
Um, this may be kind of difficult to figure out where to start. So we want to clean it up a little bit. Um, we may want to even kind of ignore part of our equation, like ignore the fact that it is an equation, and we want to clean this up. Um, so remember, we're not solving yet because we've covered up that side. So we are following PEMDAS in the correct direction because we have all these values. Um, and this says anything that's multiplication has to happen before we deal with addition and subtraction. Um, so we have to multiply first, which means we have to distribute first. So anytime we have to distribute, we're going to do that before we combine like terms. Um, the P we're ignoring here because that means do what's inside the parentheses, and we cannot combine 3x and 1 because they're not like terms. So here we're going to distribute. Um, 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And this only says take 2 times whatever's in these parentheses. This 4 is not part of that, so it just drops down. And now again, we still have a lot going on. So since we know these are like terms, since they're both just numbers, we can combine them. So we have a negative 2 and a positive 4. So that becomes positive 2. And my 6x drops down. There's nothing else I can do with this because this guy has an x and this guy doesn't. So this is as simplified as we can get. So now, since we've cleaned that side up, let's look at the equation as a whole. And then we can continue, and these should look exactly like they did um, in the earlier video. So we're going to now work backwards because we know the answer. So we're following PEMDAS backwards. And PEMDAS backwards says, let's get rid of anything that's being added or subtracted first. So here, we need to get rid of this guy first. And to undo plus 2, we're going to minus 2. We're doing the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. So 2 minus 2 is 0. We're going to drop down 6x. 8 minus 2 is 6. And now, again, we're trying to isolate this variable. So we need to get rid of that. And that guy says 6 times x. So to undo multiplication, we're going to divide. And when we divide, we divide on both sides. So we're going to put x, and 6 goes into itself one time.